think that a trapezoid can be the half of a hexagon? I'm confused. My, my whole class said that a trapezoid is the half of a hexagon, but I don't think that a trapezoid should be the half of a hexagon because because I so so I counted all of the sides of a trapezoid and I figured out that it has four sides and a hexagon has six sides. So if a trapezoid has four sides, then a hexagon should have eight sides. Can you take the hexagon and I want you to cut it into two equal parts, but I want you to start from a corner. So I want you to go from one corner all the way across to the other corner. Try that. Pick any corner and then try to go across to the other corner. Make sure you have two equal parts. Do you have two equal parts? Mm -hmm. Okay. What two parts do you have? Whoa there. I see two trapezoids in here. So? Okay, so I'm actually more confused because then how does it have to not have six sides? I want you to trace one of the trapezoids and then as you're going out, you're going to count the sides. Okay. So go ahead. Okay, now we're going to use a totally different color. I'm going to give you orange. And I want you to trace the other trapezoid. Okay, and I want you to count those sides. Okay. One, two, three, four. Okay, so now I'm a little confused because this line has a 3 and a 4 in it. What happened with that line? I think both of the trapezoids shared the same line in the middle of the hexagon. So if they share the same line in the middle of the hexagon, how many times did you count the same line? Two times. How many sides on the outside of the hexagon? There are... Um, six sides on a hexagon. Okay. And now, how many times did you count the line in the middle? Two times. Alright. And six plus two is? Eight. Hmm. How many sides does a trapezoid, trapezoid have? have? Um, it has four sides. Four sides. And what if we turned it over and we had another one? How many sides do we have? Eight. All right. So four plus four would equal eight. You have two extra lines, even though the outside shape is a hexagon. When you cut the middle and you put one line, you count that line twice because each trapezoid is going to share a line. So that's why even though a trapezoid has four sides, it fits inside of a hexagon twice because the middle line, you're going to count it twice. What if a shape didn't share a line? You can make different shapes where they, where they may not share lines, but then you're going to have a bunch of different shapes. I mean, if you wanted to cut this one up, I mean, you could make triangles. But then you may not fill all the space. See, if I made another triangle in here, this is open space. So you oh. could do it, but then you wouldn't be covering the whole shape. Okay. Okay? But if you wanted to put triangles in the hexagon where they fit everything, they're going to eventually share, share lines because they're touching. See? And if we counted these lines, we count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Because this line would be counted two times. So does that kind of help you? 
Yeah, it does help me. Alright, anything else you want to say? It looks like they're hugging. Sharing is caring. Sharing is caring. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe and like. And also, shout out to my parents because I bet they're proud of me. Of course, <laughs> this is my first time. Okay, goodbye.